Hi guys, so we really need your help on this. A Cameroonian is about to be deported on Tuesday to his death. This is Ruth Hargrove, his lawyer. She's gonna tell us a little bit about his story. And actually there's around 199 other people on that plane that will be departed from the US next Tuesday. Um, and these people are gonna be deported. They were seeking most of them asylum here in the United States. And a lot of those have been denied. Ruth, can you tell us a little bit about Henry, your client? Yes, um, my client Henry is a young Anglophone man in Cameroon and he's the victim of uh, the genocide that's been perpetrated against the Anglophones by the government uh, in Cameroon. This has been going on uh, for, uh, for several years now. Our own State Department and our own president recognizes that there is a genocide in Cameroon against Anglophones by the majority government. They're getting shot. They're getting imprisoned, they're getting tortured, uh, all because they want inde uh, independence. And that's the only reason. And they've come here seeking asylum. Ruth, and we're calling your client Henry because we can't say his real name on camera because that's how much danger he's in right now. You were telling me he got arrested simply because he was standing next to posters that were opposing the dictatorship in Cameroon. That's exactly right, and that's very typical. Uh, any, any Anglophone uh, is, uh, is in danger in Cameroon. Uh, the government is incredibly paranoid. They've actually gone up in helicopters and shot at peaceful protesters on the ground. It's all well documented. The State Department knows about it. We all know about it. it is, um, it's, it's been an ongoing genocide. And just wanting, the, the, if they think you want an independent uh, uh, Anglophone area, that's enough to get you and your whole family murdered. And you mentioned Henry has um, had a journey for the past three years of crossing almost eight South and Central American countries by foot, by car, by whatever means possible just to get to the United States. Can you tell me a little bit about his journey? Yes, and it's very true. This is true of, of most Cameroonians. You know how desperate these people are when you realize they are not only leaving their homes, they're leaving their families, some of them are leaving their children, they're leaving their, their spouses because they will die if they don't leave. They sneak across the border to Nigeria, they then get a flight to Ecuador usually because that's how they can get out, they can legally go to Ecuador. They go through a perilous journey through the Darien Gap, which is the world's most dangerous jungle. A lot of them die there, they drown, uh, they get killed by coyotes, they get, uh, they get, uh, uh, it's, a, it's a terribly perilous journey. And, and, so, and they get here and they present legally for asylum. And I think that's really the important thing for people to realize. These are not illegal immigrants. These are people who have risked their lives on journeys that take up to six months uh, to get here. Uh, they use all their funds to do it and they get here and they say, hi, I'm at your border. I am an applicant for asylum. I am seeking legal asylum under your laws. And what we do is we, the first thing we do is that we put them in a detention center. My client, Henry, has been in a detention center for a year and a half. That is not atypical. Uh, we, uh, we treat them like criminals. They have committed no crime. Uh, the, Simply standing next to a poster that was opposing the government. Yeah, they've committed no crime in their country and they've committed no crime in our country. And Ruth, you mentioned that you've been working tirelessly on this for the past year and Trump's administration is aware that Cameroon is not a safe place to send these refugees back. The Capitol Hill is completely aware and a lot of representatives are speaking up on this topic. And State Department is also aware because they even filed a report, human rights report, that talks about the issues in Cameroon. Can you tell me a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, uh, President Trump gave a speech to Congress uh, in October 2019 where he told Congress he was cutting off uh, trade with Cameroon, some trade benefits to Cameroon because of the ongoing uh, genocide there, the extrajudicial killings, the torture, the forced disappearance. Congress knows, President Trump knows, DHS knows, uh, the State Department knows because the State Department reports all document uh, the ongoing genocide. Uh, nobody is arguing about this. No, we all know that there is a genocide against Anglophones in Cameroon. We all agree that this is happening is just inexplicable.
So to sum everything up, what Ruth is telling us right now is that if Henry, along with at least 199 other people on that plane that is supposed to be departing from Texas Tuesday, hops on that plane and lands in Africa, we are literally signing his death sentence. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah, there's no question. Um, there's no question. There's an arrest warrant out for him uh, on bogus charges of, of terrorism. That's what they do. It's very typical for the military to do this. Um, they've already arrested and tortured his little brother, uh, believing the little brother was him. Uh, he's, uh, I have no doubt that if he goes back uh, on Tuesday, he will be met by the military. I would actually wish for death uh, over what I think they will do to him. I am 100% convinced they will torture him. Um, and, and it's very dangerous for any Cameroonian to return uh, to Cameroon after they've sought refuge here because they will all be treated as traitors. So Ruth just told you Henry's story. She's been working on this for the past year. Um, all you guys need to do is share this video if you want to help people like Henry. And I'm just a reporter trying to tell this story for the good of humankind. And because I truly believe in journalism that is good for humankind. So hopefully if we share this video enough times, we can put pressure on the Department of Justice and we can help save Henry's life and hopefully the other people that will be supposed to be embarking on that plane as well on Tuesday. Thank you.